I'm Scott Phillips reporting from the Whistle Stop Cafe in downtown Kennesaw where it has been located for 12 years. However, a recent fire has temporarily closed its doors, but residents are doing everything in their power to help fund the repairs. In order to fund the repairs of the Whistle Stop Cafe, head cook Ken Goings has met with others daily to help raise the money, while other local patrons have helped with charitable donations. Actually, what we're doing for our employees is uh, we're out here selling t-shirts to raise money for our unemployed uh, employees. So. And uh, how much are y'all selling t-shirts for? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. And uh, how many times have y'all been out here selling? Um, every, almost every day for the past month. While measures are in action to help compensate the employees, the question is, what's next for the whistle stop? Barbara Rakestraw, owner and president, plans to rebuild and reopen as soon as possible. I understand that there was a recent fire here. Can you elaborate on that, like when and how it started and how much damage it did? Yes, it was October the 10th, and um, we're being told it, it was an accident, of course, but electrical, the cause was electrical. Where did the fire start? in the dining room around the cash register area to get us back going and all that kind of thing i'm thinking around sixty seventy thousand dollars okay and how long uh, should it take for the repairs to uh, be complete we're hoping uh, once it started uh, within three to four weeks weeks before the fire the building was bought by a company called craft and associates who told me that they had planned to renovate the building and the lot next to it even before the fire Economics Director of Kennesaw, Bob Fox, goes into more detail about what these plans hold. In the third quarter of, of 2009, a development team purchased the property. And, um, their intent was for the whistle stop to stay in the property as a tenant under the existing lease that they inherited from the, the seller of the property. Unfortunately, the fire occurred. When that occurred, it, it really... Uh, necessitated both the whistle stop owner and the new owners of the property to reevaluate um, the status of the project and the restaurant and it, it's kind of reset the uh, lease situation between the owner and uh, the restaurant where they're now currently negotiating a new lease. Um, it's my understanding that has not been resolved yet, but both parties have been working hard to get a new lease in place. Throughout the week since the fire, the Whistle Stop Cafe and its employees have seen tremendous support from its local community. Is there any customers said anything to you, best wishes or anything? Oh, uh, we have customers come by every day to give us our, you know, their blessing and everything and just hoping for us to reopen soon. The Whistle Stop Cafe has been located in downtown Kennesaw for 12 years and they hope to continue serving their breakfast and lunch menus. However, there is a lot of work to be done and they're aiming to be open at the beginning of the year. For Cobb Stories, I'm Scott Phillips.